Since the beginning of this course, we have been working only on the design of the website. And this video is going to be the last video that focuses on design. Right, so in this video, we are going to be adding two more pages. One of them is going to be the login page and the other is going to be request a reset of a pass of the password page. All right, so these are the two pages on the finished project. As you can see, the login page is very much similar to the sign up page. So what we are going to do is we are going to copy the code in the sign up page and then modify it to uh, get the login page. So let us do that now. The first step is um, to create a file for that login page. So in the root folder of the application, we are going to create a file called login.html and we are going to copy all the code inside register.html and paste it inside that login.html and then we can start making modifications. The title tag is going to say login. The title of the form will also say login. We are not going to need the avatar input, so I'm going to remove that. We are going to be taking username or email as one of the login fields. And then we are also going to take password. So just the username or email and the password. Okay, we're not going to need the email field or the password confirmation field, so I will take those out. The submit button is going to say login. And the text under the form is going to say don't yet have an account. You can sign up. Okay, so this will link back to the register page. So with this, we can open the page on the browser and see what it looks like. So we go to login.html and this is what it looks like. So obviously the, the form is a very short one. Uh, so the body element doesn't really extend to uh, consume the entire height of the page. So what we are going to do about that is, let us go to the uh, patent, uh, the patent background styles that we added, and make sure we set this height to instead of just setting this height to auto, we will set it to one hundred percent of the visible height. That is why that is what one hundred vh stands for. And with that, if we refresh, the background uh, style now covers the entire height of the page. One thing I want us to do is I want this form to have a bit more margin at the top. So I'm going to add a class to this auth form, the one for login. I'm just going to give it a class of small auth form. Or let me just call it small form. And then we are going to go to our CSS again, scroll to the very bottom. And then we will create another selector for auth form, particularly one that has a class of small form. Remember, there is no space between the two classes here because they both belong to the same element. So for this form, we're going to give, like I said, a bit more margin. So margin at the top is going to be a uh, 10 rem. And then margin left and right will be auto so that you can continue to centralize horizontally. Okay, while we are in these styles, I want to define another class which we are not yet using but which we will use very soon. So I'm just going to call it lead text. We basically want to give it some more font size. So we'll give it a font size of 1.125 RAM just slightly bigger than the default line height of 1.5 uh, rem and lastly we give it a color of this color i prepared in the background so this is the text that's going to appear on the request a uh, new password page so it is actually this text that we are styling 
Okay, but we are still on the login page, so let us finish the remaining elements. One of them is the forgot password or link, and then another one is the remember me input. Let us start with the remember me input because that's very simple. So after the um, password field, we are going to have another input group. This one is going to be a checkbox. We will give it a label with a for attribute of remember me. So we'll have an input of type checkbox. The name is going to be the same as the for attribute and so will the id attribute. Okay, make sure we add the label itself. And with that, if we refresh, you can see our input field here. Okay, so lastly on this page, let us add the forgot password link. So we are adding it on the same level as this password label. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the label inside a div element. And then inside that same div element, I will add a link. Uh, first of all, I'll make sure the link is inside a small element to make sure that it has uh, a smaller font size than normal. So we will place our link inside that small element and the link is going to say forgot password. This link is going to lead to a file called resetpassword.html. Okay, so if you refresh this on the page, it's not going to look good because um, we haven't yet applied any style. So we are going to give this a class of remember, oh, sorry, forgot password wrapper. Okay, so I'll go back to our styles. Then we'll select admin form or rather auth form and then forgot password wrapper and give it a display of flex and justify content of space between. Okay, when we do that and we refresh, it now aligns itself correctly. Okay, and that is all for the login page. We are going to move now to the next page, which is the forgot password page. Okay, so this page, and I think I was calling it the wrong name. This is not reset password, it is forgot password. So we are going to create a new file in the root folder of our application called uh, forgot password. So make sure we are creating it in the root folder itself, the same level as the login page. Okay, so it's going to look very similar to the login page. So I'm going to copy everything within login.html and paste it inside forgot password.html. Then we can change the title to forgot password. The title is going to say request new password. That is the title of the form. So this is going to have only the email field. So let us change it accordingly. We'll change the type of the input field to email as well. Okay, and then we will remove everything else. We'll remove the uh, password field as well as the remember me field. And then the button here is going to simply say, request a password or request reset link. What does it say even? Okay, send reset link. Okay. And then we will remove this uh, paragraph at the bottom of the file as well. And uh, the last thing is this text. And this is where our, our lead text class comes in. Okay, so we are just going to have a div element after the title of the form. We'll give it a class of lead text. And then we'll paste this text inside it.
let us go back to our browser and we go to the forgot password page and this is what it looks like um i think we can reduce the font size of this of this title let me just do a really quick one here mm, let me see okay um i'm just going to do some rough work here i'm really tired right now i'll give it a font size of 1.2 rem 1.2 is too small let me make it 1.5 okay this is better uh, 1.5 all right I'm going to remove this label because it's not really um, useful this already specifies that the user should enter their email and the only thing we can add here to be extra uh, clear is to add a placeholder called email address okay so this looks intuitive enough i'm also going to give a margin at the bottom of this lead text um so let me just say margin bottom 16 pixels okay and this looks better now now one thing i might add is um i think we can add the padding at the left at the sides of this uh form like we see on the finished project if you visit the reset password page or the forgot password page you will notice that the padding at the left and right of the form is a little bigger and that looks better than what we have uh, on the current project so i'm going to just add it generally for uh, all the forms so this is margin at the top 30 pixels is fine then the second uh the second value is margin at the left and right i'm going to set it to 30 pixels also we can leave the bottom margin at 20 pixels so we refresh and this looks better okay um one last thing i know i was feeling lazy just a few minutes ago and that is why i just defined this quick inline styles here so uh, i have repented from my laziness i'm going to copy this class over to a css file let us just add a selector for that uh, form title We'll give it a font size of 1.5 rem and make sure we give it a margin at the bottom of 2 rem okay let me refresh okay 1.5 seems a bit too small let me set it at 1.6 okay all right and this looks good now one thing i forgot to explain well i don't know if it really needs explaining is the way i um the way i used uh, the remember me input field you will notice that i am wrapping it around a label element i'm wrapping not only the text but also the input field the checkbox field i'm wrapping it around a label element and i'm making sure that the for attribute on the label element matches with the id attribute on the input field itself so when we do that whenever you click anywhere on the label like if you click on the text the input field uh, still applies so this is just a way to connect the check the check box uh, with the label okay and that brings us to the end of uh, the design for the website i know this has been a very long our journey up to this point and we still have a long way to go uh, thank you for your patience and i hope you're learning from the course so far i'm very excited about the next part where we are going to be uh, hooking all this up with a database and making it dynamic all right once again thank you and see you in the next part